welcome back. Now I'm at Rides and Drums Road. I've done stations in a weird order, but I will put these in order. As you can see, we are here at Ride Pier Head, one of the terminuses for the island line. So, in a couple of minutes, we should have double unit number 006 come in um, and terminate. You can see the buffers there. It's still rainy. You can see boats out to sea. You might not, but I can. Oh, yeah. Um, we've got platform. This is platform one. Uh, and you've got platform two, which is not used anymore. Well, sometimes it may be. Because at Esplanade Station, platform number two is out of action. Um, let's just walk up to the platform, walk up a bit more, so in about 10 or so minutes unit number 483006 should be arriving or so, so you've got the S car marker there, you can see those four things, I don't know what they are. But there's a couple of ships over there. You've got one of the hovercrafts currently that is landed at ride. So you've just got it's not that good of a station to be honest because um, there's not much here. Although it's on a pier, which is weird. It's nice to be on a pier, but there's nothing really that's here. Now, I don't know really what that much to say because you've got Portsmouth over there and, and all of that. Those, it's low tide at the moment. I may just be able to get a shot of St. Clair, the White Link Ferry, for you if I just come to the end of the platform. The Hybrid Energy uh, Victoria of White is currently heading to Portsmouth. He's almost there and St. Clair is almost at Fishbourne. Don't know what time the hovercraft's due to leave. Might not even be due to leave in for quite a while. Now I can see St. Clair in the distance. That's St. Clair. Not the newest ferry for White Link. Uh, obviously their newest one is the Hybrid Energy Victoria White. She's heading over there in that gap where people can unload and load. Sorry for the wind. Um, obviously, we're out at sea at the moment, so you can expect some. So, platform two. The rail's looking good condition, because obviously they haven't been used for a while. But, um, it's, the platform isn't used, I don't know. I think it's only used for the like driver training or something maybe. It might even be used when the new class 484s come. Obviously for drivers to learn the route and, and that. So I can quickly get an artistic shot or a shot of down the pier for you. Down there's Ride Esplanade Station and you can see and there's loads of boats. There's loads of them over there. Now you may have heard in the news about the uh, boat that almost got hijacked um, but then the suspects, the seven suspects are in custody. I can just about, well not custody, uh, they are currently detained. I can just about see a rainbow. You might just be able to see one there. Uh, you've got the pigeon nets up there. The sideboards aren't in good condition. They're all falling off. And See the old pier tramway. Uh, their old rails are on also in good condition either. So there's not that much really to say other than uh, the White Link catamarans more up here um, on a service. So the next train will possibly be the busy one because the catamaran might be mooring up soon. I don't know because uh, the catamaran moors up. And there's always, if they are running two trains, uh, there's always one of them that's really busy because of the catamaran comes. 
the next departure we're going to is in about 10, 15 or so minutes. Uh, the four, I think it's 483006 should be arriving at Esplanade in a couple of minutes and then pulling up here at a speed of 20 miles an hour. I can see Benbridge in the distance from here, I think. So, not much else to say. No, I've said that a couple of times, but sometimes I keep coming up with stuff to say. Obviously, it's a windy day. It's a rainy day. Slow tide out of the Solent. I'm going to pop a couple of pictures up on the screen of some white link fairies for you. And I want you guys to put in the comments below which one do you think is your favourite. Now the options will be St. Faith, um, Victoria of White, the brand new hybrid energy, St. Clair, White Sky, White Sun and White Light, which those three run on the Limington Tsunyama. Limington Tsunyama is a nice little ferry service operated by White Link. Because once there's a YouTube video that I might try and find where they use an emergency ramp at Yarmouth. Now the clouds are just moving in so you might just be able to see them and it's starting to pick up wind but the current time of this recording is 14.37 so 483006 should be approaching Ryan Esplanade any minute now because um, she was due to depart Ryan St John's at 14.35 so now th um, three minutes ago and also guys I will try and create a poll and I'll put the link in the description on do you think they should use platform number two anymore have more services up and running. So I will try and get an artistic shot of um, the train coming in in a minute. So I'm going to leave the tour there of Ride to Head Station and I'll see you guys when the train comes in. Hello guys, welcome back. We're still here at Ride Head and I can see 006 in the distance at Good old 1938 stock. So we've had rumour that some of them 
are going to be going to museums and all of that. So the driver and conductor have just clocked up on their shift and they've just randomly left the train sitting here. So just probably waiting for another driver and conductor to take over. So if you have a look, there's another shot of the cab. Got the brake, the, the dead man's handle. And there's the hovercraft again, coming in to ride. Coming in thick and fast. Sorry about that short part. It's still pointing to the beach. Let's see what the beach looks like today. And at the moment it is low tide. I think the weather is just about to turn. See they're just going in the distance there. So really an Isle and I logo. The door buttons and all of that. I think this one departs in about 10 or so minutes. And the whole craft landed. So you've got the old, the old lights there saying that the doors are open. And now I'm going to take you inside class 483. So you've got the cab through there, got the old bouncy seats. I like all these are pastry as well. We've got the guard panels up here, some more seating. These are a different formation to those over there. And then you've got these seats, same as the other end. I'm now going to jump off as the motors have just started up. So, another shot of the solar. Motors have just decided to start up, and I don't know if the driver's in there. Oh, all come the driver and the conductor now. Come to work service. The motor's just started up for, no, for some weird reason. So obviously the 1938 stops, some are going to the museum and some are going, who knows. Obviously they, they won't be going to a Heritage Railway because um, obviously Heritage Railways would have to be electrified. But you know, Heritage is for steam and diesel. These obviously aren't going to turn into diesel but to be honest, if these were like you know, fully up and running, I would say they could use these on the uh, Glasgow subway. But obviously the Glasgow subway has been modernised. Got the whistle and the cab. Got the taillights. And then have you noticed the cup there? The cup there is a bit weird. So I think I'm going to leave it there leave you with a shot of the train moving. So I'll see you in a minute. Hello guys and welcome back. I'm now here at Riders Grenard on a different day. Uh, I'm doing all of these on a different day. There are currently works going on at this station and I don't think the uh, destination board is working. It says full seat, full seat timetables, a service and Um, So I'm here at the two car mark at the moment as you can't see. But you can see just down there, look at the tunnels, the ride tunnels. Um, I don't know what time the next train is, but later today I will be catching one. And you can see the brilliant flower arrangement on platform two, the abandoned platform that used to be used. Um, 
there's not much to say about this uh, station. You can see the uh, hovercrafts over there. There's not much really to say, um, except for the pier over there. Now, um, you've got the hovercraft, as I said. Um, now, you're probably wondering how do the 483s operate? Well, at the moment, they are third rail. Now, you'd think, because they're old underground stop, that they would be fourth rail, but it turns out that they're third. And there's a load of litter, as you can expect, in the middle of the tracks. And you've got a bird over there, I don't know what type of bird it is. If you can tell me, tell me, put it in the comments. I'm not really going to say that much else, okay? So, I'll see you guys at the next station. Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are here on the Isle of Wight um, and we're here at Ryan St John's Road, uh, the home of the 1938 stocks where they are restored. Um, so I'm going to take you on a quick tour of Ryan St John's Road station. Three platforms. Uh, the next stations along the line are Ride Esplanade and Smallbrook Junction. Um, the depot is just over there and you can see some neglected stock that are not going to be getting an overhaul very soon or maybe any time because um, a new D stock plus 484s will be coming soon uh, they are planned to arrive next year um, there's two units over there uh, one unit over there you can probably just about see in the distance through that gap is unit number 483004. Uh, that one was heavily graffitied not long ago and they have now whitewashed one side of it and they're not probably they're probably not going to be repainting it as the uh, new D stock trains are coming in. Now let's walk over the footbridge and get some closer looks at the neglected class 484 stock. So these used to run, I think, on the northern lines of London in the old days during the World Wars. And when they came out of service, I don't know, South Western said, can we have them? Let's run them on the island line. Obviously the island line stretches from Shanklin to Ride Pier Head. One service is always busy you've got the white link catamarans coming in from Portsmouth. Now as you can hear I am kind of out of breath but here's a closer look at a class 483. Now you can see all the boards, the windows, even the buttons for the doors have been taken off. Got one over there and you've got the depot over here got a modern depot and an old depot where the steam trains probably used to come from because this line was um, operated by steam trains and um, you've got now the old tube stock because before after the uh, steam trains they got some old units which were class 485s I believe you can just see double O unit number 004 this one was the one that was heavily graffitied this is a terminus platform platform number three this is usually used for a shunt about and all of that haven't got long until unit number 008 comes back uh, pulls in onto platform two I believe uh, heading to a service back to Shanklin and you should have 006 come it they should possibly pass at Sandown so here at Ride St John's and Sandown is where the units will pass so it's a southern green station but it is operated by South Western Railway Island Line I may find a picture of the new class 484s and pop it up on screen now. So they are due to arrive next year. Don't know how they'll be getting here. They'll probably get here by 
Dory come over by the ferry. Because by the pictures that I've seen, they do look amazing. So over there you've got toilets, um, bins and all of that stuff, waiting shelter. And if you look, oh, my finger's in the way there. Lovely logo there. So we have a, a non-roof waiting shelter because it's already under a roof. And got a bin blowing in the breeze, like Jeff. Go check out Jeff Marshall's channel. I will put his uh, channel link in the description. Here's another safe and sign. Old Southern Totem. The station was opened in 1864 on the 23rd of August with the Isle of Wight Railway. Now, put your put some comments down below on you how if you think that St John's needs an upgrade. For me, the quaint scale is about there. Um, the new footbridge kind of ruins it because it's a, it's a new type of footbridge. And it's too modern, especially with the 1938 stocks that um, run from here. So I am following all guidelines lines while wearing a mask. Or I will possibly put a little clip of me riding for the final time, the class 483s, before the brand new 484s come in. Now obviously the 484s are the same make as the class 230, 1972 or 1978 stock which are the D trains it's a rainy day I can tell you that so yeah these 484s are third rail the, I don't know about the 484s if they are going to be third rail or diesel probably electric third rail so the depot is obviously in need of a repaint as well with glass shattered oh and here comes double OA like a busy one so you can just about see in the cab there that's what the cab looks like so this is unit number 008 oh, should be departing in a minute now the next one after this should be 35 1435 put the tail lights down there Headlights in 008. So, if you like on a, on a website called Rail Record and you want to annotate it, these are class 483s, and whatever their three digit number is at the front, that is their second number. So, the next service is at 35, 14, 10, 35 to be exact. I'm going to end this short tour here, and I'll see you guys next time. And now I'm at Braden, and it's very rainy. The weather's just turned on me. Now, Braden Station. Let's have a look around. I've been, obviously, I've been here before. Um, it used to be two platforms, and look, it's a cat. Didn't expect that. Don't know if it's a station cat or someone's cat. It's probably someone's cat. But Braden Station, I think, maybe used to have been three, maybe. We've got a two or three. And the rain is just turning even more. Um, you can see the old signal box. Um, so I'm thinking that our uh, waiting station used to be three platforms. You can see the second one over there. And possibly a fourth one over there. Now, you can't get over onto the abandoned platform now. Um, due to obviously it being abandoned and not used anymore we've got a help point we've got a card reader now the visitor center i don't know if it's actually open uh nope it's not open 
Um, I'm not going out on outside the cover because it's raining and I'm only wearing a jumper. I may hear a train. I think I might hear a train in the distance. Now, at St John's Road, I saw these. Now I don't know what they are, but I that I swear I saw them back at St John's Road. Now obviously the rain has decided to just pour, but it's calming down a bit. I think it's going to be like this all day. Now you've got the directional travel sign uh, over there, and you've got a whistle board, a 20 limit, and there's a crossing just down there by that 45 limit board. Now, I don't know, I very much doubt it that they're going to bring back second platform. I very much doubt that they will. Um, I don't hear a train in the distance, it's just a plane or a helicopter. But, that's really all there is to say about braiding, is that it is in southern green colours, as in the whole line is. Um, the abandoned platform is very nice to see, but obviously I want it back in service. And uh, quaint scale, I think you mentioned the quaint scale like Vicky does in all the stations. It's about there from there. Who knows? But it's kind of quaint. I will see you guys in the next station down the line, which is Sandown. Hello guys. So this is the passing route for trains, uh, other than St John's Road. Um, it's a bunch of shelters. Don't have those badges. I think I just had the points change. So maybe there could be a train coming in a minute, I don't know. But my next station along the line is Lake. No, it's just someone getting stuck away. I will see you guys at Lake, not that much to hear. It's in the breeze like Jack Marshall. Alright, I'll see you down there. Hello guys, and welcome back. I'm now at Lake Station. Just walking up the steps we access ramp. Now there is a train due in only a couple of minutes time. Um, it's the 1217 service from Tranklin to Ride Pier Head. So this is the Sorry about the wind, I'm gonna take a bit of shelter in this waiting shelter. And um, there's not much to do here at Lake. It's a nice little station with an underpass going to the residential area um, over there. You can see a nice little church or something over there. And uh, not much else, really. So the next train is due in a couple of minutes, about two minutes or so. And yeah, there's no yellow line. No awkward. You'd think there would be a yellow line. A yellow line. I can't say anything. Um, I will probably when it arrives. I'll probably leave you a shot of it going across the little underpass. How long it's going to be? Um, I think I might hear it in the distance, but I need to hear the electric third rail go. Now I am planning to um, get on the train from Shanklin. I don't know if they've only got one unit running. 
two units from it. Something like that. And this wind is really bugging me. It really is. It's cold. It's been raining, it's been windy. And look, it's a bin bug blowing in the breeze. So the train should be here any minute now. Coming from Shanklin. along this line aren't I think. Well actually maybe quite a few of them are. Or maybe all of them. I still don't see uh, one of the 483s in the distance. Now there is no passenger information boards here at Lake and um, changes to train times. Um, now, on my gaming channel, the link will be in the description, I'm going to make a road going from Brockenhurst to Lymington Pier. Um, it goes all the way down to Exeter Central, this is David's on the map, it goes all the way up to London, Waterloo. I will come back when the class 3 arrives. Hello guys, welcome back. I just heard her whistle in the distance. Now put your client, put your comments down below on what unit number you think it fits. What unit number do you think it would be? 483 or 006? I just keep hearing her whistle because obviously there are quite a few level foot crossings on this line. It's really windy. Sorry about that. Feels not that best, the best, so some shots may go away, but you never know. I hit her in the distance, and there she is. One of the 483s. I don't know if they're running one, possibly two. But here she comes. Now, also put your comments down below if you think Lake should become a request stop. That's 006, I believe. Unit number 006. whatever you want to call it and get a shot of her leaving from here when she decides to depart she's on time I think she's on time and I think she's just about to leave as well off she goes she's now leaving I'll leave you with a shot of her Shanklin. Now you're probably wondering, did I get here by train? No, I actually got here by car. Now I'm possibly going to be creating a time lapse um, on my way back. But we've got this lovely artist who's done this. You think it's graffiti, which I actually think it is, but I don't know. We've got this old pair of buffers here. I wish I could get a buffer shot, but I don't think I'm allowed, so uh, I'm not going to be getting a buffer shot today. It's a curved platform. That's what it looks like coming into the station. I'm going to get the 1318 service out. It's too wide per head. And I might be interviewing the guard on the train as well. So here's the uh, totem. Shanklin. Obviously, it's the end of the line for the island line. Um, 
Now, on Roblox, I know I'm not really supposed to be talking about Roblox on my uh, vlogs channel, but mind the gap, train simulator, bus simulator, whatever you want to say, it's got a time online route as well with 484, I mean 483s. Now, I don't know if they're planned, if they're planning to add a new class 484 D-stop, because they've already got a D-stop model for the actual underground train. So I doubt it very much. Now, before the train hits the buffers, we've got this post here um, and this gravel pit over here to stop the train from overrunning. Um, so they do see the back again. Fine, as you see. Um, there are some back. Oh, they used to be. Because I think it used to be a little track line and it used to go further on. Lovely herb garden, I think, just like by. Um, I'm just walking up to the end of the platform. Um, and then I can get down the line. I've just heard that um, it's only one service an hour now, because they might bring on two. I don't know why. With a unit maybe or whatever. I don't know. So I see this is the end of the line. And then trains reversed. Now I can do this on train sim. I'm possibly going to do a video on it. Not on train sim world 2. I am talking about train simulator. I don't really want train sim world to or train sim world. I've tried them out before and they were cool, but I do kind of prefer trying to see you later as well. So, got a 45 limit sign there, ballast, which is raised, and uh, a big curve. So here's a shot of down Shankin Station. So, I will see you guys when I board the train. Now, obviously, I may have to use the mosaic effect. So, see you later. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.